Hi guys, today in this video, I want to give some important tips and important questions for PPS exam. At first, I will give some unit wise important questions. These are important questions in first unit. First question is what is variable and rules that we need to follow before declaring a variable and also prepare what are data types and various operators in C. Guys, you need to prepare all operators, examples and as well as programs. And second question is conditional statements. If, if, else, else, if, switch and nested if. Prepare both programs and as well as flowchart. Third question is loops in C. While loop, do while loop and for loop. Learn both flowchart and program. Fourth question is break, continue and go to statement. Fifth question is storage classes in C. Sixth question is type conversion. Seventh question is expressions in C. Along with these expressions, you need to learn what is precedency and associativity. And last eighth question is command line arguments. These are important questions in unit one. Next in unit two, first question is what is array? What is one dimensional array and two dimensional array? And also you need to prepare what is matrix, transpose, addition and multiplication. Guys, if you don't have time, then you can skip matrix, transpose, addition and multiplication. Just prepare array, what is one dimensional array and two dimensional array. And second question is strings and various functions of string. Along with this, you need to learn what is get s and put s function. And third question is structures. And three methods of initializing structures and fourth question is what are unions fifth question is pointers and pointers in self-referential structures and at last sixth question is enumeration data type these six questions are important in unit 2 guys if you are btech student then definitely subscribe to my channel because in my channel i will upload complete btech computer science related subject tutorials so if you are btech student definitely subscribe to my channel next in unit 3 first question is what is preprocessor and various preprocessor directives in C. Guys, this preprocessor directive question is very important in unit 3. And second question is file handling. And third question is random access file functions. This is also important question. And at last fourth question is how to copy text from one file to another file. Guys, my suggestion is at first you need to start unit 3, not unit 1. Because, because unit 3 is very easy. Total there are four questions. Definitely two questions will come in exam. So at first start unit 3. After completion of unit 3, then start unit 1. And these are important questions in unit 4. First question is what is function and various types of functions, return type and parameter passing to a function. Second question is user defined functions and third one is standard library functions in C. And fourth question is passing arrays as arguments to a function. And fifth question is parameter passing techniques. They are pass by value and pass by reference. And sixth question is recursion, limitations of recursion and how to find factorial and Fibonacci series using recursion and at last seventh one is dynamic memory allocation total there are four functions in dynamic memory allocation they are malloc calloc realloc and free functions guys if you don't have time then just prepare types of user defined functions that is second question and fifth sixth and seventh question that is parameter passing techniques recursion and finding factorial and Fibonacci series using recursion and dynamic memory allocation learn these four questions from unit 4 if you don't have time these are important questions in unit 5 total there are 19 questions if you don't have time then just learn one to five questions guys i explained complete pps subject in single video i covered complete five units i will provide that video link in description you can watch from and i want to give some tips for pps exam first tip is in exam some students will directly start program by writing main function but don't do like that definitely you need to include header files after including header files you need to write return type to main function either void or int main and next definitely include semicolon for each and every statement some students will use shortcuts like instead of writing printf they will write pf and instead of writing scanf they will write sf don't write like that you need to write spellings correctly without any mistake and you should not use semicolon for main function and for conditional statements that is for if for if for else if for switch you should never use semicolon and even for loops like for while loop do while loop and for loop never use semicolon before writing exam definitely remember these points 